So, you want to use the back burner? No. No, you don't. I never asked for this. And you really shouldn't use it. Not because it's bad, per se, but because the design around it is all just terrible. You don't understand what I mean? Well, TF2 usually follows a unique form of gaining information about an opponent by just simply glancing at them. For example, if a scout is holding the atomizer, you can immediately recognize that he can triple jump. If a sniper has a razor back, then you know you can't backstab him. If a dumb man's using the iron bomber, then you know he's an asshole. These are all possible due to how distinct all the designs are from other weapons. The problem with the back burner is that its design is far too similar for you to differentiate it during the heat of a battle. So, you'll end up getting WM1 and obviously turn heal to run away, but suddenly you're fried chicken because it turns out the dipshit was using a backburner, not the stock flamethrower. Don't believe me? Let's do a little TF2 brain game to prove my point then. So I'm gonna show you different clips of a pyro rushing me with either the backburner or the stock flamethrower, and I want you to try to guess without pausing the clips. Alright? Let's go. All right, so how'd you do? Did you guess all stock, some being the back burner? Or were they all just the degreaser? Well, you would be wrong because they were all back burners! I, mm, fucking God damn it, that goes my whole point. I'm such a failure! The back burner was one of the three non-stock weapons for the pyro released during the pyro update. No, no, the other Pyro update, released back in 2008. This was the update that added the air blast mechanic and gave the Pyro three different ways of getting guaranteed crits, all of varying difficulty to use. And sadly, the back burner was the easiest to use out of the three. I've always had this mentality that getting guaranteed crit should always be hard and deserving with that thick dopamine rush included that keeps TF2 as addicting as it is. Plus, look at how goddamn lazy the design for the back burner is. It's just a stock flamethrower with some ooyu shit on the front of it. The front of it. I repeat, the front of it. You know, the place where the flames come out of and cover it, making it look like the stock flamethrower? Now granted, if someone is using a festive back burner, then it's super easy to differ it from stock. <sighs> wow, that was a rant and a half. Remember how I said I'm not a pyro main? Anyways, the back burner can be gained by either completing 16 pyro related achievements and getting the pyro milestone 2 achievement, or getting a random drop, or, or even, if you so dare, Craft it! I know, I know, it's not October anymore, that spook was entirely unnecessary, but it's... I had to say it, I'm sorry. I know everyone tries to forget about the crafting system, but I, I just, I had to. No, come to think of it, the 2008 Pyro update brought Air Blast, the Backburner, and Turbine. So in a way, to most people, this was probably the shittiest update that still affects TF2 to this very day. Jungle Inferno ain't looking so bad anymore, huh? Believe it or not, the launch backburner was even worse than it is now. Before being patched, its stats included a plus 50 health given after kill and was later given a 20% damage bonus. Yes, you heard me right. They later added a damage bonus on top of the guaranteed crits. Now granted, at launch, the backburner couldn't air blast at all and the damage bonus only lasted around two years after it was added before being finally removed in 2012. So, compared to what the backburner was... <laughs> oh, fuck. So compared to what the backburner was, it doesn't look that bad, but seeing how the last time the backburner itself got a direct stat balancing patch was back in June of 2012, I feel like the backburner is still far from being balanced. Now don't pull a Xenomite and tell me that it's not bad, it's just bad lol. Because as I said before about its design, I've gotten killed unfairly so many times due to how similar the damn thing is to stock in its overall look. Every other flamethrower in the game has dramatically different designs to accommodate for their vastly different stats and abilities. Except the backburner. Plus, the playstyle that is encouraged by the backburner doesn't seem to have any negative drawbacks for using it as just a normal flamethrower. So, I'm suggesting a patch to the backburner's overall damage, maybe something as subtle as a 10 to 15% damage reduction to the front side of enemies. Check out my friend Unusual Sandwich's video on the backburner to find more suggestions on the nerfs or reworks. Plus, I'm in it, so that's fun. Now, there is a few ways to have fun at the expense of other players' patience and sanity. The first one is what I would like to call the Firefly strategy. This involves getting you and some friends to equip the backburner and thermal thruster, go on high tower and fly in on unsuspecting solo enemies and just bum rush them. Then immediately fly away with your remaining second charge and rinse and repeat until you all eventually get vote kicked off the server. <sighs> is this... is this what Delphi feels like? Fuck, no wonder he doesn't use his real voice. I'm sick to my fucking stomach. Anyways, a second style of play is a lot less cheeky and much more skill based and more timing sensitive, and in fact you might even rip your own throat out in anger. 
This being the Achievement Items Only set. That's right, Backburner, Flare Gun, and Extinguisher. All together. Dear God. Did I make it obvious enough that I hate the Backburner? Nah, I'm sure it's fine, totally unbiased. Uh, but seriously, the backburner isn't the most overpowered weapon in the game, but most of the time, the deaths received from this most of the time feel unfair and weren't your fault. Of course, this mindset is very flawed and varies with each of the millions of ways of encountering a backburner pyro, but I just wish the design was revamped and updated to look a lot less like the stock flamethrower. Stat balancing would just be the cherry on top of this fantasy patch of mine. But anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I know it's been a bit since I've done a video like this. And hey, got a weapon that you want me to cover? Put it down in the comments and I might just cover it, and even include your comment in the video. That last part you probably don't care about, but that doesn't matter. Thanks for watching and have a great day! Peace! I need a better outro. That was shit.